This is Mr. Hyde, uh, Bongo, and this is uh, God's Brain Smart. This flyer was put out uh, sometime. I saw it at the weekend because I'm always looking at social media. I saw this at the weekend and I said, oh, wow, what an interview is going to be. Why was this interview important or why was expectations about this interview high? Expectations were high because over the past few days, stories have been emerging on social media about uh, Mr. Hyde Bongo. And uh, the police had actually issued statements. The police had been compelled to issue statements about his whereabouts, his safety, and what is happening to him. Because news and reports emerged that he had been picked up. Some said he had been abducted. Some said he had been picked. All of that. Who is he? Uh, Bongo uh, Hyde is a guy who, who, has, who writes very cynically on, on social media. He writes anything he likes. And he, this is not the first time he's having this encounter uh, as, is, as we are about to report on what happened from what we are hearing the first time he had this encounter was um uh, he had uh, actually been very cynical against some journalists at gh1 including anaba namwa and whilst they were doing a reality show of sorts to select people to work for the media he he sh shamelessly appeared before the same people that they had been berating on social media when he mentioned his name and they looked at his uh, twitter account they pointed it out to him he was very embarrassed and he was he had to exit the show it looked like that it didn't mean much to him he's continued his work of just targeting people he's the guy who can say anything about mohammed kudu is a useless player he says all kinds of things but it's a free world isn't it it's a free world that's what we force for so it's okay uh, he said things about me that i'm a thief i built a house it's okay i don't care that's fine <laughs> but Today, he had another taste of, of his, of his uh, processes in a very ironic situation, completely ironic. So let's start. So this is the starting point. Uh, so Mr. Hyde has been arrested or not arrested, molested. Some story about him going around based on something he had said. He had said something actually very, very terrible about the first lady. Completely unacceptable. But well, it's a democracy. Can say it. First lady can sue him. For whatever reason, it was suspected that because of the things he said about the first lady on the occasion of her birthday, I mean, the first lady's birthday, and you say something so nasty and so horrible about her, that's what he did. He wrote it out on his social media page. People were very upset. NDC, MPB people, everybody was upset. The 73 year old woman, and this is what you, Bongo, whatever, you write about her, and it's, it should be, social media should be clapping for you because you are able to insult anybody at all for political gain or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, so when he was uh, arrested or, I don't know, abducted or questioned or whatever, it was suspected that this is questioning or his encounter with security authorities is directly related to uh, what he had written. That was a suspicion. We actually don't know the state of affairs because the police had clarified that they have not arrested him and that they have checked and he's at home. His lawyer, is he his lawyer, uh, Oliver uh, Vomaho, was talking about trying to get to his family. I don't know how that ended. I don't know whether he was making himself available and the family decided they don't want him as a lawyer because he started talking about it and then he stopped at some point. Uh, because as I'm telling you, I look at social media every minute, every day, <laughs> all the time. So this is a, 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 a Bongo and Smart advertising. Okay, let's see what follows. This is the two of them. This is Mr. Hyde Bongo. Somehow there's only photograph of him all over the place. And this is Mr. Smart. So they were going to conduct an interview this morning. What was the motive of the interview? What was the purpose of the interview? It is easy to, to, to read out, isn't it? It's easy to read in between the lines. The purpose of the interview would have been Bongo would have said, I'm arrested by, I've been arrested by police, an unwarranted arrest, this is a constitutional democracy, it's a breach of my rights, Akufuado is a human rights lawyer, and he's president, and they are breaching my rights, and they were going to trumpet some kind of human rights um, consternation in Ghana's democratic environment. That's what they were going to, that was the agenda of the interview. It's allowed, there's no problem, it's not illegal, it's allowed. It's a democracy. And opinions are like noses. We all have them. And, and facts are sacred, but comments are free, isn't it? Yeah, so, so they're allowed to have that. I'm just pointing out what agenda they were setting up this morning. But that's why it's ironic. So as it appears, both of them are on one side. Okay? Uh, Smart is going to help give him a platform for him to express his disappointment about what may have happened to him over the last few weeks. And that was going to certainly make government look bad. It was going to look like the security situation in Ghana is such that there's no freedom to express oneself. And then the, the Transparency International, we're going to have a look at it and it will form part of their database and data analysis, etc., etc., etc. Anyway, so this is what happened. After, whilst people were waiting for it, it is speculated, and we don't know whether it is true or not, but it sounds plausible, okay? 
It is speculated that uh, somebody sent this note to uh, Gosbrain Smart sometime before the interview. What does it say? It reads as follows. This is a post. We don't, it's not clear when it was posted, the dates, but this is how it reads. It is by Mr. Hyde, uh, Hyde Bongo. He says, Captain Smart is a very unprofessional journalist. Great journalists are thinkers, not emotional noise makers. He should learn from Bernard Avle. <laughs> that is what the guy... But you, uh, Hyde Bongo, you know that you have put such information out about Captain Smart. You know that. You don't discuss it with him. You are expecting him to give you a platform. That's why I said this. He's having a second bite of the, of, the, uh, of the very bitter pill. This is what happened to you, Mr. Bongo Hyde. This is what happened to you at uh, GH1. You wrote nasty things about people, and you were going to them to try and get something to do. It's not going to happen that way. That's one side of the conversation. So when Captain Smart read this one, many people react differently. Maybe if I read this, I'll still host him. I don't mind. Uh, but everyone is entitled to react to things said about him in a certain way. The other side of the, of the, of the angle, the other, kettle is, is, the other side of the kettle is this. So Captain Smart gets worried when people say things like this about him. He, gets, he can get worried and he, every morning he's saying things about people and calling somebody dog. And he, he wants to call people dog. But when you are told that you are unprofessional and that you are an emotional noisemaker, and that you are not a thinker, he, he is not happy with it. Captain Smart is not happy to be told that he is, an, he is not a thinker. But that's, that's very heavy. That's heavy, isn't it? He's told that he's not a thinker. And he's told that he's an emotional noisemaker. Uh, sometimes people say that truth hurts. I don't, know how, I don't know how you see these things, but people say truth hurts. Because if Bongo Hyde writes about me, that I'm not a thinker. I really don't care. I don't care. You can say I'm not a thinker a million times. I don't care. Because the evidence doesn't bear out that. The evidence doesn't bear out. You can dislike me all you want. If you say I'm not a thinker, okay, it's fine. I'm fine. It's okay. No problem. It's fine. So, because it's untrue. It's, I don't care. It's, it's untrue. And then you say I'm an emotional noisemaker. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. We'll still dance and while in the studio. Do our things to it. I, I have no problem with it. But as I'm saying, everyone is entitled to react to when things are said about him. So no one can fault Captain Smart for the way he has reacted to this. I'm just looking in and saying that, ah, like Captain Smart, you don't like people saying things about you like that. So why do you always say things about people that you know are not true? It's not true. And you know that you're just saying it for, to create licks and likes and ticks and things like that. Anyway. Okay, so the story continues. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, I'm not going to... Give me the rest of the story. The story continues about... Uh, the, the, the publication that a guy did, is it? Okay, yeah, so uh, he said... This is what he said. So this was apparently sent to Captain Smart. So as before the program, shoop, program is cancelled. Captain Smart will not have... Will have none of that. He cancelled the program. He's not going to interview Bongo Hyde ideas anymore. Bongo Hyde ideas? I don't know what... I don't know how it was communicated to uh, Bongo ideas Hyde that um, uh, the interview is not coming on anymore. Because if I were uh, Bongo Ideas Hyde, I, I, I would, when I'm told that the interview is not coming on, I, I, anyway, so this is what somebody put on. This, this then triggered all the gossip that we are talking about. Ingenia Samoa says that, breaking news, so breaking news, he says, Bongo Ideas was scheduled to have an interview with Captain Smart this morning on Onuna TV. Obviously, the interview would have been to damage the government on his purported capture by unidentified men. But a couple of hours before the interview, someone sent this, referring to the message we showed you, to Captain Smart, prompting him of how Bongo Ideas had insulted him uh, with his chest out. Captain Smart, therefore, angrily cancelled the show with Bongo and warned him never to cross his path. Both Captain Smart and Bongo are in pains. Agenda Yamutu. <laughs> this year's election is going to be very interesting. Oh. This 2024 elections is going to be very nice. So, Bongo Ideas Hyde sets out from his house to Onya TV TV3 in Kanda. Bongo Ideas Hyde is phoned and told that, hey, Ojam says, don't cross his path. Don't cross. You call him an emotional noisemaker. You call him a non-thinker. 
You call him unprofessional journalist. And you are coming to say what? If the police are catching you, they should catch you. Who cares? As for Smarty, he is not going to respond because you have insulted him. I am feeling very sorry for Bongo Ideas Hyde because I'm wondering how he took the information, how he returned home, how long the journey will be back home. I mean, you're going for an interview. Many people have not heard him speak before. They always read what is written. They have not heard him speak before. This is the first time they're going to hear him speak. Maybe somebody will be impressed with this. Maybe. And then you are brought back to something that you yourself produced. At the time you produced, you never knew that this day was going to come. He didn't know that a day was going to come when he was going to need uh, Onuya TV's platform for the same person that he's calling unprofessional. He's calling him no thinker. And they say that you go and learn from Bernard Avila because he's a thinker. He's professional. Captain Smart. Captain Smart says that he's a, he's a pace setter. That's what he and Ifia Pokura were conversing about. He said he's a pace setter and that Ifia Pokura is a dog. Now you are telling Captain Smart who is a pace setter. You go and learn from Bernard Avila. Are you mad? So I can imagine how Captain Smart was angry and pumped up. Captain Smart, don't be in pain. Eh? This, is, this, is our, this is our work. That's how it is. The same way you do every day. You say somebody is a dog. Somebody is a boa. Somebody is kwasia. That's all you say. You don't have anything to say every day. Somebody, no analysis, nothing. No constitutional provision reference. No policy reference. Not, no historical reference. Every day somebody is a boa. Somebody, that, that's how it is, you see. That's how it is. Now, ideas hide to you to learn a lesson from that. You don't always take your, your computer or your phone and just go vitriol about people like that. It's very bad behavior. Who trained you? Were you raised in Ghana? Who trained you to be doing that? Every day you are insulting people who, who, are, to be, who are role models of the society. You make it a point to just insult role models of the society. Today, you see what has happened to you? When you say that a man is whatever, this is what has happened. So that's how God works, you see.